the attention of the Liberian people to what the grievances are. And I think this is why they are out there. There have been numerous allegations mm. against you that you are unilaterally running the institution and some of them accuse you of being corrupt, that you should leave immediately to restore calm at the institution. What can you respond to this? How can it be that anyone will run the commission unilaterally when you have seven board of commissioners who, in fact, um, on um, manage the commission at policy level, but also too at the secretariat level, they run the day to day and make proposals to the policy makers uh, who normally would discuss and take decisions. My name is Oscar Morva, and um, yesterday you were on one of the local media institutions. Today, uh, one of your own also appeared on the Is there any internal conflict or fracas here at the National I wouldn't say there's an internal fracas per se. I would say that uh, on every board or in every group, we talk about group dynamics, it's not always smooth sailing. Uh, when you work with people, there will be times that you will have exchanges. And this is normal. But when the exchanges transcend into media bliss of documentations of the commission that are not yet public, but somebody decided would take them and give it to the public because they want to prove a point, then it becomes concerning. And this has happened so many times here at the NEC. And, um, you media person, personalities as well as radio stations, newspapers have carried a lot of things on me. Uh, quite often, I'm not given the opportunity to, to speak to the issue, but then the issues get elevated. And once you put it on the air, it doesn't come back. Um, so it is an opportunity today to you know, talk to you who are here at the commission. Uh, to okay, find out, okay. just hold on, to find, hold on, to find out what the issues are here and perhaps how might, they might be resolved. I, I, I just okay, have but, a follow-up yes, uh, before my colleagues come in, Madam Chair. Now, uh, part of the allegations that the employees are making against you, mm -hmm. they are talking about some $8 million United States dollars mm -hmm. uh, that was left out of the $53 million mm -hmm. uh, given by the Liberian government for the of the 2020. Right. Uh, they are claiming six months benefits. All right, I will say something, but you give me time to lay the basis. We agree to this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, because this is, this is the crux of the matter. And I will say to you that six months general allowance, 100% of each staff's salary, agreed by board members in a meeting with technicians to readjust the budget that was giving us 53 million. Six months were paid to all staff. So for instance, if someone's pay was $4,000 and they received six months, 100% of their pay, that money would be how much? You know the math. Six times four? Oh, you can talk? <laughs> yeah. So, the problem here is we submitted a budget of 91 million. The government said it couldn't raise that money. There were negotiations between the Ministry of Finance as well as the um, uh, as well as NEC on bringing this uh, 91 million down as much as possible. Those negotiations came from 91 to 84 to 73 to 64 to 61 million. And then finally, the Ministry of Finance said, we can only raise 53. We are committed to 53. So any budget proposal or any budget process, it, it's a proposal first. Once it gets approved, before it becomes law in Liberia. So what is law is 53 million 
Queen Majesty's dollars that was given to the neck. When you have 91 and you have, um, you have uh, what do you call it, general allowance in there for 12 to 18 months, you have civic and voter education, you have all of these different lines in the budget. You have to recalibrate that budget to make it speak to the money that is being approved. So everything gets watered down. The beauty in here is that what was watered down and what was approved was indeed a process by both members and the technicians here. And the agreement was pay six months general allowance. So what is approved and what is just is what was sent, uh, is what uh, became a budget approved for the National Elections Commission. So as it is, the government of Liberia through the neck does not owe staff any money because it approves what was sent to it in the 53 million budget. Did but you have a balance of 8 million? So let me tell you where the 8 million coming from. As you all heard, and probably were part of some of the briefings that we held here, when the, any elections is over, and by way of the PFM law, when the government of Liberia gives you money, and some of that money leaves over, you must, they're not somebody coming to decide, you must declare that money. In the case of the NEC, it was Liberian as well as US dollars, amounting to about a total of eight million United States dollars that was declared to the government of Liberia, including the legislature in both houses, the speaker and the pro tem, and the Ministry of Finance. So, Madam Commissioner, my name is Emmanuel Kotu. Um, the issue of race, I you just explained, has there been a communication to your staff regarding what you just explained so that you all have you guys be on the same page? And secondly, uh, they are also uh, requesting that... Let's uh, do it one at a time. Yeah, because the information plenty. Yeah. And like I say, if you really want to understand the issue, you give me some time to lay the basis. The issue, I go back to the issue of the $8 million. When this amount was declared to the government, there were agitation here in the neck saying that the money should not have been declared to the government of Liberia. There were agitation here that the money should have been divided among next staff. There were agitation to the effect that uh, we learned, we heard that some of the staff were saying even if each person was given $10,000, there would still have been money left. Now, if you do not have, I mean, let me put it this way, anyone in the right mind will know very well that you cannot divide $8 million with staff of any institution because that money is not yeah, for question, question that is, money is hold on, hold on, please, hold on, hold on, please, hold on, please, hold on, please, hold on, please. I will get there. Staff. I'm coming. Okay. That's the problem, you see. I've been a journalist all my years. If you don't want the basis of the story, then no need to do this. Because if you have the basis of it, then you will understand why. So I will say to you this morning, and the fact that I said, no, that this is not the way to go different things came into play. Then the request and agitation came about where people say, oh, but then, you know, it's supposed to be 12 uh, GA, it's supposed to be 18 GA, so we want our just benefit. What is just is what is approved by the budget process and the government of Liberia. So now your question. So I was just asking if these communications were sent to uh, the workers of the National Industrial Commission. They were informed. And, and then another thing is they're still asking for full month arrears of salary. Do you owe uh, the worker of the... Of the, the government of months? Liberia through the neck does not owe any staff money. Madam, uh, I'm Mr. Vesta, I yeah. still play work for this full network. Mm -hmm. They are also requesting... We welcome the audit of the National Elections Commission. We have always said that. And it's a good practice. This mm -hmm. is something we have done before, and this is something that should continue. You, you just used a term that the house uh, that was a recommendation that the money be divided. Uh, what were you talking about? I want to understand that. Please. I'm saying people talk. The rumors all around that the eight million should have been uh, uh, divided, divided among among staff. 
that it should not have been uh, uh, sent uh, back to the government. And of course, it, it is in our, it was in our coffers, not Madam, sent Madam, back to the government. Madam, please, I want to get yes. this clear. Uh, yeah. Those people that you're referring to who were saying that uh, the, uh, the rest of the money should have been added, uh, were they, I mean, I mean from the same institution, maybe your staff or your, your subordinates, your immediate subordinates? The next staff, who, who were those the next staff were agitating about that. And they were speaking in corridors. But let me tell you, you know, rumors, you will hear it, it's the grapevine. It's the grapevine. And when these things come about, you hear them. So I'm not going to come here and say, John Brown said this or John Brown said that. What I will tell you is that when it reached to the board level, some members, and I've even uh, uh, said to you uh, in, in my interview, that the co-chair had raised the issue of why this money should have been sent back to the government. And I would state that emphatically. This is what she said. This is what she said. A senior member of the National Elections Commission who's supposed to know the, the, the process and the law. You say the money should not have been sent back to the government. No. So, it's supposed to be sent back to the government because it's not the money of the National Elections Commission. But I'm sure David Menger, uh one of the concerns also raised by those aggrieved uh, centers around the issue of priority. Priorities. Yes, yeah, according to them, uh, you are, you know, working on a campaign, working on some other things, and there are a lot of different projects over time you come to in, for which they, they claim that have not in any way benefited them, you know, as staff, as workers of this commission. When, when, but in the end, there have been always an inflate, you know, inflation of you know costs to these particular projects. Even though I, they, I cannot speak they were to not specific mm, about amounts. I, I can change. hold on, please hold on. Let me answer. When you make just, it too much, I just want to. No, no, I just waste more. Waste, waste more. I can speak to the issue of inflation. Any allegation of inflation can readily be uh, 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 authenticated by coming to see the documentation that we have for procurement as well as what we have expended um, in the National Elections Commission. Now, the proposal to do a canteen is something that we have talked about here in the Commission for long. That proposal came from the um, uh, the vision that the staff needed somewhere to sit, to eat their food, and to talk amongst themselves. But also to, to help the building from rats, roaches, and uh, what you call it, uh, cats, including chickens, coming into the building to you know, pick up food and what have you. That process was supposed to be part of the, uh, how you call it, the recommendation for the reallocation of the eight million. Unfortunately, it did not get there. But that would have been a very beautiful uh, uh, thing to do to have a staff uh, 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 building where they could go. Now we can't do it because how it looks, what has been sent to the government finance ministry in the last two days has not really addressed the staff uh, uh, building. It addressed general allowance. 1 million 80,000 United States dollars to pay staff hazards. Usually hazards are paid during elections time. Yeah. So what are you wanted to add? Just a follow up to this question. According to them, we accuse you of <laughs> the, the amount into, into showing your egos and all the other actions. Any face left to the Hold on. This is a blatant lie. This is a blatant lie. I will ask you to please go to the Ministry of Finance and ask them for all the documents of our declaration of this money. Number two, the money is not in the account general account of net anywhere in any bank. That money is in the central bank of Liberia. And before you take any money out of the central bank of Liberia, you must have a process to raise the various documentation for the central bank to be able to pay that money. The money that was expended from the $8 million was the money that we got approval from the finance ministry to run 
the by elections in Limba County and Grand Julia County District Number One. So what they have told you is not the truth. Now, there's a catch to this. Apparently, maybe what they were trying to explain to you was the process that just ended, wherein uh, we, we meaning the commission, was encouraged after we made the submission to the, the Ministry of Finance, telling them that we needed for them to approve the by elections money, but we also wanted to reallocate that money to different lines some of which we were supposed to do during the, the elections, but because of the way the money were coming, small, small, it was difficult to complete. And on that re, uh, reallocation justification document, we have the delimitation, capacity building, stakeholders engagement, lessons learned, you know, uh, electoral. This document, when the Minister of Finance came back and said, you people will have to prioritize Instead of just asking me to approve what you want for reallocation, you'll go back. That is, your staff, board of commissioners, as well as our staff, will sit down and look at what you have proposed, and then we come up with priorities of, of what you want to reallocate. That process was done. When it was done, those who were appointed as committee members, the co-chair, Commissioner Sayer, as, as co-chair to that committee, and some of those who are agitating now, they, they had this meeting, and all of what they were putting in there was the hazard. Uh, you had things on stakeholders' engagement, you know, uh, electoral reform, and what have you. This is what happened. But to say somebody take money, I take $8 million and keep it for myself? No. Madam Chair, let's be clear here on something. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to thank you for the step by step explanation to mm -hmm. whatever that is unfolding here at the National Elections Commission. But when the budget Slashed from 90 plus million, mm -hmm. and according to you, there were discussions with the employees, the board of commissioners, to make adjustments, including the board. The adjustments were then made mm -hmm. after the budget came to 53 million dollars. Now that there was a balance of eight million in your reallocation or reappropriation, did you consider the fact that since there were previous adjustments? For their benefits, did you consider including in the reallocation benefits of these people? That was not done. You know why? No. Because when you declare balances to the finance ministry, it is the finance ministry that will approve what it is that you want to do. Besides, the previous approved uh, general allowance was six. So we have paid that. Now, if for any reason, any reason, staff or whether the uh, members of the BOC felt there was a need to pay additional, uh, what do you call it, general allowance that was not budgeted for, the board is, is a simple thing, which I also propose. If you really want additional general allowance to be paid, the board should sit down and make a decision. We sign the usual document saying that we agree or we don't agree, then that gets to be put into motion. But I would have recused myself from that because the money declared to the government of Liberia through the Ministry of Finance needed to have been approved for other things. Finally, from my end, uh, internal conflicts sometimes, if not most of the time, are normal within every institution. Mm. Nonetheless, looking at this one, you know, and you do not want to openly admit, but when you say that you have, you know, you are trying to think, how would your co-commissioner go on to suggest mm -hmm. that the remnants of $8 million should not be reported as per law? Mm -hmm. And seeing what we're seeing now, the employees out there, you have gone on the radio, you have spoken, mm -hmm. your deputy has gone on the radio and spoken, the employees have impeded normal working activities by their actions. Do you see this thing coming to any kind of uh, conclusion, resolution of this conflict anytime soon? It will come to an end. Do you know why? Because the Ministry of Finance and Development has the original document that was sent to it. What has happened here could have readily been an appeal to the government of Liberia. It could have been an appeal. When senior people do this kind of thing and stir up the staff with mis and disinformation, this is where we are now. It could have been an appeal. Okay, 
you, we, we, we reported the $8 billion as per the PFM law, the template and all that we have to do this. Let's go back to the government and say, initially, we had $91 million, but everything was cut because you're only the fifty. Now there are some balances. Can you please add two more? That was not the road. That was not the road that they took. What they, and I'm saying to you, you know, kind words can also make things to move. And those kind words could have been that the board sit together and say, let's do another two for the staff, but they get the approval from so the government of Liberia. That Chair. wasn't done. So Mr. Chair, let me show you go, please. Yes. Uh, you, you can are, stay here until tomorrow. Yeah, right? you, you as the head of the institution, and I think it's always going on, Commissioner David Etter, um, what do you think needs to be done now to have your staff come back to work so that you continue to do the work of the library people? Let me tell you, I will be appealing to the government of Liberia to send people here to do the investigation of what the staff benefits. No, we're talking about the staff right now on the street. How do they come back? How do they come back? I agree, agree Star. You as their leader, what, what are you doing? What do you want me to do? What are you doing now to what bring them back? What do you want me to do? You want me to go out there? Is that what you want? But this is about leadership. As, it, as... It, no, hold on. <laughs> hold on. When people are high up in emotions, hmm, you have to give them a little break for them to calm down. And that break has not come yet. But now, when, uh, hold on. When a break comes, then we we'll make the step. But I ask me your question. So you leave them on the street uh, as it is right now, so that the work of the election will not spoke, get stuck. I just spoke to you. But when people you are high you. in emotions, you give them some time to calm down. Like, but but I, and that's what I'm doing. Yes, yes go ahead, please. For, uh, everything Bobby. that you are saying to us, uh, our other commission are aware about all these decisions. Which decision? So why are you saying about returning money or what? They are aware of it. They are aware. We have had. We have had several meetings on this but when people are agitating over balances that should accrue to them mm -hmm. obviously they will this uh, uh distance themselves from what they have done before and this is what is happening now madam, madam chair yeah. uh, this is my last question from my end um, you can ask some me of too. the commissioners uh you know say that we have been saying over time that your style of leadership is dictatorial that you don't listen to them. You mm. take decisions unilaterally. Mm. And you go on sometimes even implementing, you know, projects or activities without their consent. My brother, let me tell you, when you are discussing issues with a group of people, the head of the institution also has the authority on some leadership aspects. All that people want, hmm, what is happening here is the kind of control over money and how it is spent and for what purposes they are spent for. So if you really want to know whether we have taken decisions, you come, I will show you all the things that people sign. I will show you all the communications that have been sent to them and what have you. Sometimes when you're in a group of persons, uh, as we have seven, it is very difficult to come to some decisions. And when time is bound, you necessarily have to take some decisions. Do you think and you have the numbers on your side? Which numbers? From the Board of Commissioners. I'm not looking at numbers, my friend. What I'm looking at, when the dust settles, we'll sit down and we'll talk. So they have locked your office. How are you going to get out today? I mean, you're talking about the entrance of the National oh, Commission. When they lock the office, I will get out. If not, I'll sleep here. You know, journalists can sleep anywhere. I'll sleep on you the floor. You don't see bothered by all of these. As I can sleep on the floor. I've done that before. Are you bothered? The about only thing, I, the only thing I can tell you, I will just call my children and tell them, say the people lock the door, the staff lock the door, and I can't come home tonight. You don't so sleep there. It's not being. I'm calm. It's not that I'm not bad. I am very calm because why? Every situation has a remedy. Let's get your party coming, Madam Chair. The only thing I can say. I will appeal to the staff to come back to work. That would be my appeal. I will appeal to them to come back to work. But also, I'm going to ask the government of Liberia to address this issue about what staff benefits are or what they are not. And why the commission in my office had to take the necessary actions to recognize that we have paid the general allowance as stipulated in the $53 million budget. And if the staff 
wants additional one, they can go to the government and appeal. And those who are the forerunners of this uh, 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 process of this, um, what you call the agitation that is going on, they could also take that step. Perhaps maybe it's not too late so to go to a, to appeal. Insurance? Yes, as I said on the other station, because of the way the money was coming in, we didn't pay insurance. We didn't get an insurance policy because of the way it was happening. Okay, but we declare what was left. One of the ways that could have solved it is to say, now let's go and do the insurance policy, which did not happen. But to suggest that the insurance money must be brought to the commission and divided by the staff. It, the insurance does not work, policy does not work like that. Thank you, Manager. Thank you. Will you go outside there to them to talk to them? Or when the time comes. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to the line from the headquarters.